Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we continue 6.3 image formation by lenses. So we're still in the same chapter 6, light and optic. So we want to discuss in this uh, topic about image formation by lenses. So before that, let's look at type of lenses that we have here. Convex lens and concave lens. Convex lens is like a fat lady. The concave lens is like a slim lady. So you must be able to differentiate uh, between these two types of lenses. So normally lens uh, is made up of uh, transparent materials such as glass, perspex or plastic which has two surfaces with at least one surface curve. The surface must be curved. Okay. So now we want to differentiate between the properties of the two lenses. The first one here is the convex lens. The line that we draw here that divide the lenses to equally here. Yeah? So this one is axis of lens. And then we draw a line that pass through the center of the lens. This one is known as principal axis. So now we let parallel light rays, uh, parallel light rays uh, which are parallel to the principal axis pass through the lens. And then we can put a screen here. What we observe is there's a spot, one spot of light uh, form on the screen, meaning the parallel light rays converge to that point. So the point where all the parallel light rays converge, we call it focal point. And the distance between the center of the lens and the focal point, we call it focal length. And the symbol is small f. So because of the parallel light rays all converge to focal point, so we call it converging lens. For concave lens, same thing. Eh? This one is a principal axis. We let a parallel light rays pass through the concave lens. What happened, we observe on the screen, there's no spot of light form on the screen, meaning there's no image form on the screen. So we can say all the light rays diverge. If you extend the light rays to the back, it seems like it come from one point behind the lens. That point also called focal length of the concave lens. So for concave lens, parallel light rays diverge from F. And the distance between fo uh, focal point and the center of the lens, we call it focal length of the concave lens. So that's the reason why this concave lens is also known as diverging lens. So if we compare the position of the focal point eh, for both diagram here. For convex lens, focal point is in front. You can observe a spot of light form on the screen. If it can form on the screen, we call it real. So that's why for convex, focal point is real. Thus, the value of f is always positive. If for concave one, you can see the focal point is at the back, eh, behind the lens. We cannot see the point of, uh, or any image of form on the screen, meaning the focal point is virtual. So that's the reason why the focal length of concave lens is always negative. Okay. Now you can refer to your textbook activity 6.8 so in this activity we want to observe real image and estimate focal length of the convex lens using distant object distant object means object which is very far like sun cloud okay apparatus that we need eh, for this activity is very simple we just need one convex lens meter rule lens holder and white screen we just place the lens and the screen close to the window and let the, the light ray coming, uh, from the, coming in uh, from the window to get into the convex lens. Thus, form image on the screen. So the, ob the light ray that coming from the window is the light ray that coming from distant object. So what we do, we just adjust the screen until the image of the window here is sharp. Once you get a sharp image, use ruler, measure the distance between white screen and center of the lens. 
So that value that you get, we call it focal length of the lens. Okay, uh, just now we have discussed that for convex lens, this is converging lens, meaning all the distant, uh, the distant light rays eh, that coming from distant object, it will converge to focal point. Okay, uh, so uh, we can get the value of focal length of the convex lens by using this activity. But does this activity is accurate or not? This is not an accurate activity to determine focal length because when you determine the sharp image, if you repeat uh, more than one more than once uh, this activity, you cannot get uh, the fixed position of the focal point. So we can say this is only an estimation of focal length. So because the sharp image cannot be determined accurately to find focal point at same position. So what you do, you just repeat uh, maybe uh, okay, uh, three times uh, and then you calculate the average so that you can get uh, accurate value of focal length by using this activity. So from here, we can uh, define again uh, the focal length is what? Focal length of the lens is distance between focal point F and the optical center O of the lens. And remember, we have already shown to you that convex lens is converging lens and concave lens is diverging lens. So in this topic, it's very important for you all to know how to draw a ray diagram. Now we want to discuss for convex lens first. So before that, you need to understand there are three rules uh, of drawing the ray diagram. So what you do, you just uh, choose any two to draw the light ray yeah, in the diagram in order to determine the characteristic of the image for. Okay, the first rule is if the light ray passes through center, it will travel in a straight line. Okay, if the light ray parallel to the principal axis, it will converge to F. If the light ray pass through F towards the lens, it will uh, travel parallel to the principal axis. Actually, the third one and the second one is the reverse, uh, the reverse direction uh, of the light rays. Okay, let's say we want to draw for this one. Okay, this is an object. If you want to draw a ray diagram, what we do, we draw the lens. You can draw a full uh, shape of the lens. And then from the center of the lens, you can fix one distance uh, for F. Let's say you draw 2cm here. So meaning it's, uh, from the center to F is 2cm. Meaning from F to 2F also 2cm. Same thing the other side. If this one, this one is 2cm, this side also is 2cm, 2cm so that we can get accurate uh, position of the image. Okay, let's say the object is here between F and 2F. The height of the object is HO. You can draw any two rays uh, from the rules here. I show you all three here. This is the one that parallel to principal axis. It will converge to F. You just extend the line a bit, uh, the light ray. Okay, and then the one that passes through center, it will travel in a straight line. Okay, you just choose one point at the object. Normally, we take as the at the tip eh, or the top part of the object. Eh, this one, the arrowhead. Okay, and then this, the one that passes through F, okay, pass through F, will become parallel eh, after pass through the lens. So you can see all the three rays will meet at one point. Actually, the meeting point here is the position of the image. Because of this one coming from the arrowhead here, so the meeting point here is also the position of the arrowhead. So you can see the image now is inverted. The height of image is HI. Okay, these are the terms that we define for you. So HI is image height. Okay, height of image, yeah? HO is a height of object. V is distance between center of the lens and the image. We call it image distance. 
and u from the object and the center of the lens we call it object distance so from this diagram actually if you know the size of the object size of image you can calculate for linear magnification linear magnification actually is uh, we want to explain uh, the size of image does it become bigger or become smaller as compared to the object how many times bigger or how many times smaller as compared to the object so we can use two formula here if you have image distance and object distance you can calculate linear magnification m as v divided by u or linear magnification m equals to height of image divided by height of object Okay, so this one is for convex lens. So we can discuss more about different uh, the characteristic of the image form uh, at different distance of object. Now in this one, you must be able to sketch a uh, diagram. So my advice is you can use graph paper first uh, so that you can uh, get the accurate position of the image. Or you can use ruler to fix a scale okay, for your drawing. Okay, the first one, let's say object at infinity, meaning the light ray coming from distant object. So from distant object, we draw like this. Huh? We draw the first one, pass through F, and then the other one, parallel, huh? pass through center. The two light rays are parallel. Okay, and then you can see the two light rays meet here. So this is the image. So image form at F. So the image position, position is at F, so we can say image distance equal to focal length so the characteristic we write as real inverted diminished diminished means become smaller okay real means it, it form on the screen so for the convex lens we put the screen here in front of the lens so if there's a image form there meaning the image is real Okay, so normally if real, it always inverted. And in this case, it is diminished. Okay, let's say we increase the, we decrease uh, the object distance. We put it as u more than 2f. Okay, so uh, the image form here, let, uh, we just draw as usual, uh, just choose two. Normally, uh, most students, they just choose this one, very easy. Parallel to the principal axis and pass through center. So you can see the two light rays finally meet here. So this is the image. Okay. So image also form on the screen. So we get real inverted diminish. Okay. Next one, we put object at 2F, exactly at 2F. Okay. We draw two light rays. Okay. You can choose any two. This one parallel to principal axis, pass through F. And then this one pass through F, refract parallel. So it also meet here at 2f. Okay, so we can say here u equals to v because u is also 2f, uh, v is 2f. Okay, so u equals to v and the object and the image are same size. So the characteristic of image is real inverted same size. Okay, in this one object placed at focal point, exactly at focal point. So we draw parallel light rays pass through f pass through center straight line so you can see it produced two parallel light rays here so the two parallel light rays will never meet but if you observe huh, okay you can see the image form in the lens behind the lens so this one we call it image at infinity because we cannot find the the, the, the point where the two rays here meet so we call it virtual upright magnified okay and then last one, u less than f, put here closer to the convex lens, parallel to light rays converge to f, pass through center straight line. So you can see it diverge here, it become uh, diverge uh, from each other. So if you extend to the back, it meet here. You can find the meeting point. So this object that form behind the lens, we call it virtual. So we normally we draw broken line uh, to differentiate between object and image. So we have virtual upright magnified image. So for convex lens, you can see there are six uh, different position of object that produce a different uh, characteristic of the image. So characteristic of image of for the convex lens uh, depends on object distance. So you need to 
if you can memorize that you memorize if you cannot memorize you can sketch again the diagram so you still can get uh, the characteristic of image okay now this one is for concave lens same thing as the convex lens uh, there are rules for you to draw remember concave lens is diverging lens okay the first rule light ray pass through center will travel in a straight line light ray parallel to the principal axis diverge from f this line is virtual that's why we draw it broken line okay and then directed towards f refract parallel okay so uh, now we try to draw let's say we have this one object place u more than 2f so draw two rays parallel to principal axis diverge from f pass through center straight line so you can see in front of the lens of course there's no real image because the light rays that refract here will diverge it will never meet but if you observe you can see the image form behind the lens you just extend the line to the back you can see meeting point is here so this is the image for the concave lens for this object okay so you can see for concave lens it always produce virtual upright diminished image if you place at different position of the object you still get the same characteristic of image yeah, for concave lens. So con characteristic of image are same at any object distance. So you must be able to sketch the diagram. Yeah? So under try to study again uh, the rule how to draw, and then you choose two, okay, out of three in order to find the meeting point or the intercept point, yeah, so that we can uh, get the position of the image for. Okay, now the last part, formatic practice, eh? 6.3. You can try first before you check the answer. So figure 6.35 shows an image, uh, image eh, seen through a convex lens with focal length of 10 cm. Number one, what are characteristics of the image? So you can see the image is bigger. It formed behind the lens. So this characteristic is virtual, upright, magnified. Okay. Number two, draw a ray diagram to show how the image in the figure is formed. So this is same as the magnifying glass. Okay, you put the, the lens very close to the object. So it becomes like a magnifying glass. So meaning U less than F. So draw two rays here, parallel to principal axis and pass through the center. So you extend to the back, it will meet here. So it meet here. So meaning this is the image form, we call it virtual, upright, and magnified. Okay, number three, suggest eh, a suitable position to place the object to produce an inverted image. To produce an inverted image, you need to produce real image. So in order to produce real image, it depends on here. You check the focal length first, 10 cm. So as we discussed before, to produce a real image, the distance or the object distance must be greater than f okay that is u more than 10 cm or you can say u is greater than the focal length of the lens so you can get real object okay that's all for this part uh, 6.3 so my advice is for this topic in order for you all to know how to get uh, the characteristic of image you can go and memorize if you can. If cannot, you just learn how to sketch. Because uh, sometimes when you forgot how to, uh, forgot some of the thing that you memorize, then you can sketch again and get the answer. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss my next uh, video. Bye.